Hello everyone, we hope you all are doing well. Welcome to another fan to play fantasy match preview. This is for another Super Smash game that's going to be played between Otago and Auckland. And again, the game's going to be played at Queenstown and the home team is the same. We have Nikhil Bai with us to carry you through another preview and give you some excellent insights after a great game yesterday. Yes, thank you so much as always for having me. Uh, glad to have begun the Super Smash well. So, when you don't play a lot of matches in the morning, it feels better. But yeah, I think the key thing is that you don't have to be able to play from the form. I think that is something that is stuck. So, we'll try and continue that and hopefully continue to do well. Yes, absolutely. That's the key. And another hack for you is that today is the last day for you to redeem the code SANTA. You get a 100% bonus up to 20,000. So ensure you make a deposit, whether it's small or big, it does not matter. The key point is that on fan to play, you can use bonus 30, 40%, at even yeah. up to 50% at points at deadline. So I think that bonus will be very, very handy to you. So make sure that you have some bonus kept in your account. App link is in the description. So ensure that you download right away and use this deposit code so you get to make and get the best benefit. If you're a new user, you anyway get 200% bonus on the first deposit. So make sure that you make good use of it. And now let's discuss what are expectations in terms of venue conditions from here. So Nikhil, bhai, what are your thoughts as far as Queenstown is concerned? Are you expecting the same kind of uh, help upfront for the bowlers? Yeah. Yeah, I think it, it should remain the same. The start time is around is the same. The venue is the same as the previous one. So I'm expecting the Shuru Mithori movement hope. Uh, so the team bowling first will definitely have that bit advantage. I think visually it did get better to bat on later mm -hmm. half May. So I think I'm expecting more of the same. And uh, so yeah, team bowling first might be slightly skewed there. But if you are batting in the beginning, maybe you will be able to put up a better score. And then I think it should be an even game if you see out that first little space. Yes, absolutely. And one key point for you to keep in mind is that the Otago batting is heavily reliant on Dean Foxcroft. Because the guys up front with Dale Phillips, I guess he had a minor injury or something, but he was not available. And Hamish Rutherford is at the latter half of his career. We had a new keeper who came in yesterday and he didn't really look comfortable. So, a lot of it hinges on Dean Foxcroft and Michael Rippon and if you're depending on your lower order to score runs for you then that is not great news so that can be a GL scenario for you to try where if you feel like the Otago batting might not click again especially with Lockie Ferguson in front of them and Ben Lister neither of them are going to be easy to face especially if Auckland are bowling first so that would be yeah. a good scenario for you to try. Bilkul, bilkul. Pretty fair call. So let's look at now what we have set up in the base team. So, till we have the base team on our screen, we also wanted to discuss what we have in terms of the game type for this specific game. And we think that small leagues and mini deals might be the way to go. And as far as the risk level is concerned, it's similar as it was in the last game because. Again, the kind of picks that we have on offer are similar and the kind of players that are going to be playing this one. Again, from Auckland, you have some international and some reliable picks. So, we think that the risk level will continue to stay medium and because the game has happened until unless and until they make a radical change in the pitch overnight or they play on a different pitch, we don't think that that lack of information will hurt you here. So, we think yeah. that that can play to your advantage. Bilkul, bilkul. So now we have the base team for this one and in the keeping section we have gone with Ben on now. Obviously if Dale Phillips is available, we'll just pick him eyes closed. There's no doubt on that. So that is the one keeper that we've gone with and in the batting we've gone with Josh Finney. Now Josh Finney scored a duck in the last game. But from whatever I saw in the game and the progression, Hamish Strutherford didn't look too comfortable. He's the kind of guy who will play one or two big knocks across the season. But you don't know yeah. when that will happen. Well, Josh Finney is going to, along with giving you a little bit of big hitting, also bowls off spin. And Auckland have a yeah. few left-handers in their top order. So, there's a good chance that he'll be used there. George Worker and Max O'Dowd, now both of them are more stable choices. Don't take too many chances up front. So, we think yeah. that they'll be able to make good use and give you good value in your fantasy team. Because I think more, most often you see them often, like we discussed the strength lies in the all-rounders. 
so it will be better to have a to take a risk if at all you want to on the in the all rounder section in the batting mein there is hardly anyone that you can reliably say ki bhai ye chalega to hamish bhaiya jab chalenge tab chalenge tab tak all rounders pe chalte hain yes and one important thing for you to keep in mind is that uh, auckland's captain robio donnell is back in the squad for this yes. game so he's someone who bats in the middle order and he's a good attacking player so if they bat first you can probably consider him but in a chase and if this if you don't expect otago to bat too well then he's probably a safe leave especially because he's coming back from injury yet in the all rounders we have opted for dean foxcroft mark chapman and seen solia now you will be interested in knowing why we left michael ripon because he was in the new around the new zealand team he's played for netherlands so obviously there's no lack of quality there but the reason for leaving him is if you see the last two games he's bowled one one game two overs and the game just one over and in this game he's going to come up against a list of auckland left handers now while his bowling type also means he can take the ball away at points if they have not relied on him or banked on him when he's been facing right handers i don't know how much they'll bank on him when he's facing those left handers and especially because dean foxcroft is bowling his full quota and he's an off spinner and against left handers we yeah. don't expect any different so that's the logic for leaving him if you feel like they'll back him then please go ahead and pick him because like you said there's no lack of quality as far as the pick is concerned and in the bowlers we have gone with the best choices in ben lister jacob duffy matthew bacon and lucky ferguson so no doubt there ja bilkul dekhiye as you see options kafi kam hai aapke paas in terms of better uh, alternatives to jinke bowlers zyada bowling kar rahe hain jo jo bowlers zyada bowling kar rahe hain unko lene mein more sensible hai to repon i think becomes an excellent grand pick pick for you because this year has been such that people have done the unexpected so maybe against the slew of options against a negative matchup maybe he comes up so you have to then visualize ke how it's going to happen that whether he's going to do well bowling first or bowling second if they get a good score they also contribute with the bat and then comes on to bowl just crucial overs and then get some wickets so jo bhi visualization aapka hai you can go ahead and back that and uh, baki yeah i think this is pretty much as as base as it, as it can get so this is what the combination looks like and one good part here is if you feel like ripon will come in and bowl you can easily leave finney and take ripon because yeah. the quota will interchange between one of the two so either you yeah. go with this combination if you feel like ripon will be banked if you feel like finney will be banked against the left handers then you go with yeah. him so for now we have kept finney in here and then we can make changes post toss captain and vice captain we've gone safe in foxcroft yeah. and chapman no reason to take a chance with the way both teams are backing the respective yeah. players and this is what the team looks like for now final team post the toss on telegram link is in the description and now let's get to what we have in terms of the grand league picks for this game so nikhil bhai who are your two grand league picks for this one a uh, slight change of heart uh, but i'm still going to go with uh, end overs bowlers for both sides so if Auckland are bowling first. I still feel, as I have discussed, Karay, uh, the batting of Otago is in that great. Uh, you can expect somebody like a Lockie Ferguson to make a lot of damage. He's picked up two wickets in six wickets in two games. I think, if I'm the data is right in that sense. So big batting unit, no better chance for him to get in and put in a very good performance. Conversely, if you think that if Auckland are batting first, then you, I think, you have two options. You could either go with Thin Solia, who's had excellent head to head. because he bats in the middle order so you will expect him to come good and give you some points and then if you feel ke uh, maybe some like a jacob duffy jo pichle game ke bhi meri pick the if he again come good bowling ki overs so yes you have all those three options for you to uh, try out in your in your in your sides right very very fair calls and i think duffy will be one to look out for especially if he bowls first my two picks for this game louis delport if he's bowling second now we have discussed the otago batting in length and there's a good chance that if he comes up against them and if it's a pressure chase he might be able to get a few pressure wickets and he's someone who bowls very stump to stump so that will work in his favor and the second pick is already part of my base team josh finney so he's actually a gl pick but he's currently in our base team you will find ripon in more teams than him but yeah. we feel like if he was if he was being backed with so many right handers to come on and bowl and he's batting two down 
I think that's good fantasy value. So hence we are opting for him as the second pick. So that is our Grand League options rounded up. Ensure that you make those changes on the final team in case I am unable to wake up in time. So George Finney, Michael Rippon, that will be one key interchange. Yes. Apart from that, the roundup of the team will be pretty much similar. So all the good luck to all of you. Have a great game and ensure that you make full use of that deposit code. It's the last day, yep. so don't miss out. So have a good one. All the good luck. Yes, hopefully good one. See you in the next one.